Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. I'd like to talk about the word everlasting. Just because it says everlasting forever and ever, does that mean that it continues without end? Uh, the Old Testament uses the word everlasting quite a bit. <clears throat> there is one uh, covenant uh, that is that was everlasting uh, that I would like to uh, point out. There were many, but this this one particular one, uh, the everlasting covenant of circumcision of the skin for all uh, male. <clears throat> Well, we know that uh, that Christ uh, said that uh, the circumcision of the skin is is not needed anymore, and that uh, the circumcision of our heart is more important. It's a spiritual circumcision. We don't need the physical uh, circumcision in anymore. So, what was everlasting in the Old Testament ended. So when Christ was crucified, uh, the old covenant ceased, it stopped, and a new covenant uh, began with Christ. <clears throat> so e everything that was established as everlasting ended in the Old uh, Testament. In the book of uh, Revelations, chapter 21, it speaks about uh, the new earth, the new heaven. It speaks about no more pain, no more tears, no more mourning. Therefore, uh, the oh, and and it also speaks about the former things are done away with, and. So, f from from the beginning of creation until that time, those are all former things. So, all of the things that are on the earth will will be changed. Those things will not exist anymore. Uh, the heavens will be changed, and. Uh, <clears throat> So there is a new earth and uh, so now what I'd like to speak about is the lake of fire. So the lake of fire, I know there's scriptures that say that it's in an everlasting fire and that the people are being tortured forever and ever. It's an everlasting torture and, and pain. Well, uh, the lake of fire is is going is going to disappear upon the renewing of the earth the lake of fire is a former part of the earth it's an old thing so it is done away with and whoever or whatever is in the lake of fire ceases to exist therefore God has the power to make what is everlasting come to an end. It's from, it has a beginning and it has an end. <clears throat> and also, like it says there in Revelation 21, if there's no more pain, if there's no more tears, then when it be contradicting if there are people supposedly being tortured in pain on the earth in a in the lake of fire so the so the lake of fire which is a former thing of the earth and pain and death which are former things of the earth disappear they're done away with the only thing 
that is everlasting is eternity, is immortal life. <clears throat> uh, once we are given our glorified bodies and we have immortality, then we will live forever. That is the only thing that is everlasting, is our immortality. Everything else that, that is everlasting ends. The lake of fire ends. It has an ending. It is not everlasting. God has the power to make it end. And if the earth is renewed, then pain and suffering, anguish, and everything that was a former thing of the earth ceases to exist, including the lake of fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen.